APS stands for Active Protection System. It's quite simply a, a two-pronged approach to defeating threats against armored platforms away from the vehicle. First step is to detect the inbound threat. The second step is to defeat it, but not let it hit the vehicle. So we've reached a point with the US Army and armies around the world where you can't simply add more armor onto ground vehicles anymore. Uh, the lethality of, of threats today has overmatched passive armor, and so something like active protection is required. So active protection has the benefit of not requiring uh, large amounts of passive or reactive armor that add weight uh, to the platform. VPS is actually a, a US Army coin term for vehicle protection system, and it encompasses not just active protection, but a holistic approach to vehicle protection uh, encompassing a wide variety of threats. Active protection against anti-armor threats just seems to be the focus right now, but VPS is just a broader umbrella. What vehicle protection system is, in, is designed to do, as our understanding is, is to create a holistic environment of protection such that I may have a technology that protects against one threat, but maybe it has relevance over here against another threat, and I don't have to buy or, or develop a separate system for that threat. I can, I can leverage the synergies between technologies and therefore benefit the platform in general from a size, weight, power perspective because we can't keep adding cost, adding, adding technology, adding power to the platforms any more than we could before. We think that uh, a wise approach would be to use Trophy as the baseline for that and build the capability around Trophy's protection capability that exists today and add the, add the broader capabilities uh, to that infrastructure, to that architecture. For example, laser warning, hostile fire detection, which it already has, uh, additional technologies like soft kill. These are all things that are in work uh, within the trophy architecture that also are, uh, are part of the foundation of vehicle protection system uh, itself within the Army's construct. Because the Army still has a requirement to, to protect soldiers in combat platforms from the, the range of threats that are out there.